Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. My name is Zain and you are watching my YouTube channel Learn Math. In today's video, we are going to solve these questions. But before starting, like the video and if you are new on my channel, please subscribe it. Let's begin to solve the questions. The first question is, the population of a city is 50,000 at present. It increases at the rate of 10% per annum. What will be its population after 3 years from now? These are the four given options. Let the population is P and R is the rate of increase and N is the number of years. First, we are going to derive a formula for this problem. Population after one year will be population plus R percent of the population. We will take P common and we can write it P into 1 plus R divided by 100. This will be the population with increase after one year. Population after 2 years, we will take this population P into 1 plus R divided by 100. We will take this population in plus R percent of this population. This will be the population after 2 years with increase. In this term, you can take P into 1 plus R divided by 100 common and we will get this. Now, P into 1 plus R divided by 100 into 1 plus R divided by 100 can be written as P into 1 plus R divided by 100 whole square. After 3 years, it will be P into 1 plus R divided by 100 whole cube. And after n years, it will be P into 1 plus R divided by 100 whole power n. This will be the population with increase after n years. Now, we will use this formula to solve our question. In our question, P is... 50,000, R is uh, 10 and N is 3 because we have to find the population after 3 years. We will put values in this, simplify this, 10 divided by 100 so it will be 1 by 10 and take LCM we will get this, simplify the cube and we will get this. Simplify again and we will get 66,550 and option D is the required answer. Now the second question is, if three men can do a work in two days and four boys can do the same work in six days, then in how many days will the same work be completed by eight men and eight boys? These are the four options. Let the amount of work is equal to 1. 3 men can do the work in 2 days. So we can write 3 men can do in 2 days is equal to 1. Because 1 is the amount of the work. Now 3 men can do in 1 day half of the work. So dividing by 3. 1 man can do in 1 day half divided by 3. And that is 1 by 6 of the work. Multiplying both sides by 8 and we can get 8 men can do in one day is equal to 8 into 1 by 6 that is equal to 4 by 3 of the work. Now 4 boys can do in one day is equal to 1 by 6 of the work because they can finish the work in 6 days. So in one day they will finish 1 by 6 of the work. Now one boy can do in one day 1 by 6 divided by 4 that is 1 over 24 of the work. Multiplying by 8 both sides, so we will get 8 boys can do in one day is equal to 1 by 3 of the work. Now we will add these 8 men and 8 boys can do in one day. So we will add 4 by 3 plus 1 by 3 and we will get 5 by 3 of the work. But we need here 1 because the amount of work is 1. So if we multiply this with 3 by 5, it will be cancelled and multiply 3 by 5 with days. So 8 men and 8 boys can do the work in 3 by 5 days. And the correct answer is option B. The third question is, how much will be the average of squares of natural numbers from 1 to 35? These are the four options. We know that sum of squares of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So first we will find the sum. Put n is equal to 35 and we will get this. 
is we know that average is equal to sum of the squares of all numbers divided by n. So sum is equal to 35 into 6 into 71 and n is 35 so divide by 35. Cancel 35 with 35 and we will get 426 and the correct option is option C. The fourth question is the ratio of numbers of girls in boys participating in sports of a school is 4 ratio 5. If the number of girls is 212, determine the number of boys participating in the sports. These are the four options. So, girls ratio boys, that is 4 ratio 5. And girls are 212 and let the boys is x. Multiply 4 with x and 212 with 5, we will get this. Dividing both sides by 4, we will get this. Simplify this and we will get x is equal to 265 and the correct option is option B. The fifth question is an integer is 10 more than its one third part. So the integer is, these are the four options. Let the integer is equal to x and one third of the integer is 1 by 3 of x. The integer is 10 more so we will add 10 to the one third and both will be same. So x is equal to one third of x plus 10. Simplify this and we will get this. Take x common, we will get this. Take LCM and we will get this. Multiply 3 by 2 both sides and we will get this. Cancel 2 with 10 and we will get x is equal to 15. So the correct option is option A. Thank you so much.